So maybe you've heard about the idea about social proof to attract women, right? You show up at the bar with a big entourage, or you're worried about having money, you think you don't have enough money, or a nice car, or a good enough job, or, or whatever other things you think that you need to attract women. And maybe that's your excuse for not getting a girlfriend or the kind of relationship you want, because you think you don't have a high enough status yet to get the kind of woman you want. But I'm here to tell you that you don't need it. And right now, since you don't have any options, it's much easier to blame outside circumstances. And it's not because status doesn't help, because it definitely does, and that's always been the case but as men we have one advantage that's huge and this is something that women don't have when they age i'm going to get into that later in the video so keep watching one big problem i hear when i hear guys talk about status or having money or a car or that kind of thing that attract women is that it's used sort of as an excuse to not actually go do the work you need to do to be able to attract women just like any other excuse like height weight looks, race. It's used to avoid doing the hard work that actually is required to build confidence. And confidence definitely didn't come to me naturally. I was very shy, had social anxiety, depression, all sorts of fun stuff that's really not good for attracting women. But I had a lot of desire too and also horny young guy, I wanted to figure out how to attract women and also to make good friends too because at the time I was in a very negative social circle and I was also very negative too. But I felt like crap all the time, I got sick of it so I decided to do something about it. And at one point in my life I ended up back at my mom's house in the basement. So not a great position to be, especially for a 30 year old man. And I still managed to bring women home. In fact, one woman was driving her Mercedes Benz over to my mom's house and she would come and visit me in the basement and hang out there. A buddy of mine at the time said she was slumming. But the point is I didn't make an excuse I didn't let the fact that I didn't have any money and I was living at my mom's house and I didn't even have a job stop me from getting what I wanted and which was dates and women and different women were visiting me there and it never was a problem and of course in the long run you do want to increase your social st status or your economic status because who wants to be broke their whole life which is also something I've made major progress in over the years because I've worked on it and I didn't make any excuses for myself here are a few things you should stop doing to start building your success with women first of all stop worrying about social status and money or a car or not having the kind of material success you want as long as you keep working at it and you have a plan that you keep adjusting over time, you'll get there. But you do, again, you don't need that to attract hot women. Two, stop putting yourself down. It does you absolutely no benefit at all to look at yourself badly just because of the fact that you don't have money. Right? It's not going to help you. And in fact, it's that attitude which you're going to be projecting to any woman you're talking to and lowering your own status because you're going to look insecure. And thirdly, stop putting women on a pedestal. The fact that you're looking at hot women as some sort of magical creatures that are up here and you're down here automatically lowers your social status, so automatically lowers your confidence. How can you hope to attract a really hot woman when you're looking at her as if she's some sort of celebrity? She's not, she just was genetically gifted, maybe she has a good sense of fashion, whatever it may be, but it doesn't make her better than you. You have to stop putting women on a pedestal in order to start attracting them. Now here are some things you can do to start building your confidence and start attracting hotter women or any woman if you don't have any woman at all. Number one, deal with your fitness and your health. Eating properly will give you the energy you need to feel good. If you don't feel good, it's gonna be really hard to attract anybody and you're not gonna even have the energy to go and attempt this. You need energy to put in the work to start building your confidence. So get in the gym, work out, make yourself as fit as you can. You don't have to be a fitness model or a bodybuilder to make this work. All you have to do is make yourself your best self. Also wear some decent clothes. It doesn't have to be fancy as long as it basically is form fitting and isn't loose and sloppy. Shoes are number one here. You're gonna to wanna to have some decent shoes because that really puts everything together for a man in terms of style. And thirdly, seek out other guys who are already doing what you want to do. It could be guys who have a really great job or a career that you want and something you're working towards. Start seeking out these people and start networking with them start making friends so you can get that influence that influence will be extremely valuable and you will start holding yourself at a higher level because of the fact that you're around guys who hold themselves at a higher level and in turn that will take some of these women that you have on a pedestal right now down a few notches so you can see them more on your level more in your league which will give you an immense amount of confidence to be able to talk to them and attract them also posture is immensely important if you're walking around with your hands in your pocket or you always have your elbows pinned on your rib and you're always looking at the ground and you have your chin down when you're walking and your shoulders are rolled forward uh, you got to stop right all that body language tells you it's you know it's feedback directly to yourself that you're a low status guy that you're a low confidence guy you'll start feeling more confident and start feeling more positive you get your hands out of your pocket start walking your chin up a little bit and with your eyes straight instead of looking at the ground like I see 
guys every single day doing. This will also help you breathe better, which will give you a stronger voice and also give you more energy as well because you're actually getting the oxygen you need instead of having your shoulders roll forward and basically everything kind of compressed in your chest there. So in summary, if you have status, if you have economic wealth, that's great. You know, why not flaunt it a little? It's not going to hurt. In fact, it'll help you. But if you don't have it, don't worry about it. Work on it instead. Make a plan so you can build the kind of wealth you want and the ha to have the lifestyle you want and the car or whatever it is, the materially that you desire. But don't use it as an excuse excuse for the reason why you can't get women. It's not the reason you can't get women. They're working on the other things right now that you can build up, with, which will start attracting women without the wealth. And as you develop your economic status and you get the kind of material wealth you want, you'll also be building your confidence socially and attracting women and learning social skills, which are really important to connect with other people. And you could do these two things at the same time, which will also aid each other and put you on the path to success. And in case I mentioned, there's an advantage we have as men that women don't have. In fact, they have a major disadvantage as they age because social status and confidence doesn't help them to get more men it's all about looks where it's completely different for men which means if you're young or even if you're older you have time to develop your social status your economic status and most importantly your confidence and those other two things do tie into your confidence as well confidence is a thing you can build throughout your entire life, which will actually give you social status in the eyes of women and will make you more attractive. Now to build confidence, as I mentioned, your economic status will help, but it's not everything. You're also gonna to have to put work directly into going out and meeting women and socializing and talking to people and starting conversations with complete strangers. That's how you'll build social confidence so you can meet more women and give that impression of a higher status man. Because what does a higher status man act like? Does he act insecure and weak and shy? Or does he make his presence known do they smile at people, make eye contact? Now this is one of the reasons why men with higher economic status and social status are more attractive to women, it's a confidence. And that confidence is available to you whether you have a lot of money or not. So you have the same kind of effect that a man with a higher social status or higher economic status has. So if you like that video and you wanna see more, subscribe and hit the bell notification so you know when I have new uploads. And don't forget to hit the like button, it helps a lot to boost up the video. And comment below if you have any stories or you have questions or even have a different opinion and you think I'm wrong. And until next time, conquer and win. But I felt like crap all the time and I got sick of it. Fucking flies.